Good evening. Tonight we're going to be uh, preparing rabbits. And uh, let's see how I'm representing my country, Wayne. Let this sizzle in your spirit. But uh, so all we're doing tonight is seasoning. And we'll let them season overnight in some Italian dressing. And I'm going to cut them up and uh, place them in the pan and let them season overnight. And But it's going to be... Uh, smothered rabbit southern version and this is how I'm going to start him out here lay him out here on this platform let me get over here and uh, cut him up here and do four pieces here maybe six Place them in here. And rabbit is uh just like chicken. It's a white the white meat version, but it's not dry. Yeah, this is a southern version. When we was little kids, my grandmother used to go to country. My grandmother used to cook rabbits. Of course, my grandfather would go out and kill them. And uh, she would cook them. And as kids, we was raised on them. You know. Now, if you wanted to cook something special and you didn't want to taste people complaining of course you season with the styles and island and once you put that 40 weight gravy on it got to have 40 weight gravy you know and I'll prepare that tomorrow but tonight I'm just gonna prep him for tomorrow and have him ready You can cut them in smaller pieces. Depends how much, how much family members you have and over. And you can have it already prepped up and cut them in smaller pieces. But smaller, since he being a little rabbit. That's how you cut up a rabbit. I want to bring this over here. I got two bottles just in case I don't have enough seasoning. See, it has everything. So, I ain't going to need but one bottle. This. I might as well use the other one. And I'm going to cover it up. And let that soak. 
Let's go give it everything here. Let's go tenderize. Yeah, I'm going to cover it up. Go ahead and set the to the mall. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, good morning. I'm finna get started back with the rabbit. Last night I put him in some Italian season, the leather season, and uh, and get a taste to it, to the meat. And it's been soaking all night in its Italian season. I'm gonna drain it a little bit, and uh, then I'm gonna fry it and make it not fried all the way fried, but fried enough to get a crust. Then I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make the gravy, and I'm gonna uh, put it uh, in the oven, let it have smothered rabbit, and I'm gonna make a 40 weight gravy to this rabbit. Now you can have rabbit. Any kind of way you want it, you know, you can fry it, you can bake it, you can barbecue it. And uh, I had an uncle one time, he uh, made a gumbo out of it. Yeah. So I'm gonna, then I'm going to season it. And just the season I'm going to be adding to it. I'm going to use black pepper, salt, garlic powder, a little cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, paprika. And this is some more uh, garlic powder. Then I'm gonna make the add my red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and onion to the gravy. But that's what I'm. That's my seasons I'm gonna use for this rabbit. Now I'm just gonna lay some pieces up here. Keep a little. Use my garlic powder. Non sop, it gives it a lot of flavor, too. Like black pepper. Just going to mix it up like that. A little paprika, a little cayenne pepper, just a little spicy. I'm gonna use some more there. Smoked paprika I used last. I want to mix it up, rub it all in it. I'm gonna make, give me a, give me a grease. The same grease I'm gonna, I don't want to put too much in there. I'm gonna make a gravy out of that. Got my herb. all-purpose flour here and uh what I did I put it in there and what I did I added some garlic powder and uh parika to my flour maybe about a tablespoon of each but this is a frying two rabbits I'm gonna do I use two tablespoons of garlic powder and two tablespoons of parika that way I can, when I get through, I, all my flowers are already seasoned and I don't have to add no more, number smoked paprika to the gravy. I start out with a few pieces, let the grease get hot. 
Of course, I got it down now. So, make a little fry little piece over here. Turn it, because I just want to get it brown. Maybe that's a little too brown, too fast. But I'm, I ain't gonna let it get dark. I'm gonna baby it. I want it to come out just right. Let's cut it down a little more. A little grease cooler. Huh? Of course, I got my pan. I'm gonna bake them in this pan here. Place it in here. That's going to be the process. Say cooking fast now. Not ready, my cut my vegetables up while that's cooking there. Get my bell pepper. All this is to give it more season. When I'm frying it, when I'm baking it. You know, you want your flavors in there. And just don't cook it plain. The same thing if you're baking chicken. You don't want no plain chicken. You know, put some flavor in it. Put some seasoning on it. Seasons you prefer, though. And, uh, and you'll have a good taste. You know, some people just cook it plain. You know, water. A little salt and pepper. Now you need to add some vegetables to it. And uh, don't think rabbit cheap. Uh uh. That rabbit costs you some money now. In the country, well, back in the country where they, they just go hunt for it. But here in the city, you have to get farm raised. Now, if you're baking a chicken, you, know, you do the chicken the same way. Give it some flavor, and uh, man, that'd be some good baked chicken. That's the red bell pepper. It's a little sweet, but it gives a good flavor too. Everybody got their own way of cutting it out. Let me use the whole bell pepper in mine. Cut it in strips. Cause what I'm, it's just gonna be in the inside when I bake it. So I ain't mixing in with no food. So I don't, I don't have to dice it. Just gonna lay it on the meat. That's but not least the onion. And see the onion, I'm gonna, some of them I'm put over it, and some I'm gonna make. Um, I gotta eat it for the forty weight gravy. Cut in slices.
I'm a vegetable here. Now, my rabbit is fried. Now I'm going to make this 40 weight gravy. Now, the step to this is, you leave a little grease from the frying in there. And uh, like I say, all the crust and fell off some of the, some of the rabbit. So I'm going to add my onions so they can saute first. Some people do it different. But just the way I was taught. I got a lot more grease than mine. Because I need more gravy. I got to have the fire. It's what it's brown once you add that flour. Add my flour. Body weight. Wanna stir it up good. In case any lumps in there or something. The more meat you cook, the more gravy you gonna need you want it that 40 weight the kind big mama used to cook Get it to a certain color too. You don't want it. You want it light, then you just don't add a lot. But you want it dark. I'm gonna add a little smoked paprika. About a tablespoon. Give it a little color. some chicken broth then I'm gonna have to whisk it up while I'm doing it make it a stick let's keep stirring right if you know that I add a lot of water flour to it.
you notice. And that's your 40 weight grade. Of course, when I put it in here, then it start getting hotter. It's going to pick back up. Then you pull that over the rabbit. Cover the meat. Was well, gonna say two cups. Enough to cover the meat. I have to turn these pieces one in there. I see that now. I have my vegetables. Bake this for two hours. I already have my oven preheated. Let that bake for two hours. And it went sooner. But actually, you want, I'm figuring two hours will make it real. They're going to be real tender. But you want to bake it until it's, the meat is really tender. And we'll be back in two hours and see how it turns out. Now the rabbit is done. This is the finishing touch. Baked rabbit on 40 pound gravy. Look at that. And look how tender this rabbit is. This just comes off the bone. You can't get it no better than that. Just fucks, comes off the bone. Let me get a little taste here. Mm, mm, mm. I really did it this time. I want to tell y'all. If you ever try this recipe, it's easy. Now this is rabbit. It's not cheap now, but it's it's worth every penny. And I want to leave y'all with this word here. Don't be shy. Express what you need to say to somebody, but say it in a polite way. And remember how you say it, because you could say something to somebody, and they misinterpret what you say. So say it the right way the first time. That way they don't misinterpret. Y'all have a great day.